Hey Coffee Clan, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video and tomorrow's video, we are going to be filming a little bit about Simply Poured. Uh, I made a video a while ago saying I started my own coffee delivery service, which I did. And um, this is kind of like an update video. It's going really well. So I've kind of been keeping it small lately and just doing a couple deliveries here and there. And I'm actually about to get a brand new espresso machine. So that's gonna be really fun. And I cannot wait to unbox that for you guys and show you everything. But basically for this video, uh, tomorrow and Wednesday, I wanna be filming. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to be going to a place in Kentucky called White Plains. My friend has generously offered me her house so I can make coffee out of for the day. So I have a little grocery list. It's the day before, which means I need to plan my routes. I need to message every person their delivery times and I need to make syrups that I need. Okay, so normally the day before delivery is what I like to do is I like to come into my coffee bar and take inventory of what I have because before I go grocery shopping, I've learned that whatever I think I have is usually wrong, so just inventory. It looks like we have a pretty good inventory right now. We have some fresh vanilla, um, you know, we have enough white chocolate. Uh, we're good on all the other syrups for now. And the only thing that we really need right now is definitely more coffee. So we need more coffee, we need more caramel sauce, and we need our milks because I always like to buy the milks fresh. So it's been a while since I updated you guys on things, but basically um, I don't have a partner anymore. It's just me. It just was better for both of us at that time to just, uh, for her to kind of leave and for me to just kind of take over by myself. And also, if you guys are wondering what kind of cups I use, I don't buy my cups from Walmart. I actually order them. I really, really, really like these cups a lot. And I'll show you guys too when I get back how I kind of do it, how I prepare the night before with my cups. But anyway, we're on our way to Walmart right now so we can get some ingredients. All right guys, I just got done at Walmart, but I also wanna like give you guys some business tips. So I know that most of you probably aren't starting your own coffee delivery service, I know that. But uh, I think a helpful business tip for any small business is punch cards. So you can make these really simply and you can keep it really cheap. Um, I just printed mine out on cardstock and put tape over them so that they're, they got a little like oomph to them. But basically I have this and every time I go and they present it to me, I just use my little hole puncher here, which I literally got at the dollar store to punch it out. Or if I forget my hole puncher, I just sign it, you know? And it's a cute way to keep your customers engaged and give back to them. And it's something that they can be excited about. So I highly recommend having some sort of punch card for your business. So if you guys watch my channel, you would know that I'm obsessed with the sweater I got from a place called Alamo Fun and it said Mermaid Gang on it. I wear it like all the time. But anyway, I was on Poshmark and I found this. It's an older version of their brand before they started like marketing Alamo Fun. But this one says Sea Life on it and I found it on Posh Poshmark and um, she was selling it for pretty cheap. The only issue with it is it has like a little stain, an ink stain on the sleeve, but I don't know, I got it because uh, I'm obsessed with that brand and they're really cute sweaters and they're so comfy, so I had to get it. But uh, we're home now and I'm gonna put away the groceries. Okay guys, it's been a hot second and I'm about to mark the cups, but I did wanna show you guys something. Um, I just made these. They are like orange zest walnut. Uh, cinnamon rolls kind of and basically this is the recipe um it's from magnolia table so i halved the recipe because you know it's just me and my hubby but anyways so once those cool i made up some frosting for it which is like powdered sugar orange zest and uh orange juice some vanilla extract um but yeah so now we're gonna mark some cups all right guys, so these are the cups that I really like. Uh, I have some 20 ounce cups and some 12 ounce cups too, but obviously I mostly sell 16 ounce drinks and I love these, we can get them on Amazon. And it comes with a box of like 70 something of them. And there's two different kinds. So there's the black cup and the lighter cup. And basically what I like to do 
If you notice on the side right here, it's also on the black cups. There's like a slot for caffeine, shot, syrup, and milk and everything. So what I normally do is I write their name right here and then I'll, you know, mark what it is. The lids I also really like because as you can see, they're sealed. So it stays fresh and hot longer. So I'm gonna mark these cups really quickly. I also offer ice drinks, um, which I have these cups for. And the only issue that I've had with these cups is as you can see, they stick together really easily. So a lot of times it's actually, you know, I'm losing money on it because this is two cups and I cannot get them apart. And then I ordered some straws uh, separately. So I like these straws, they're green and they come wrapped already, which I never want to give people unwrapped things. So then I also write the name and the drinks that people want on the iced cups. Once I have all the cups marked, I take these, which you can get these on Amazon also. They're just like bulk order of sleeves. And I pretty much just write thanks a latte on all of them. <laughs> thanks a latte, it's a little personal touch. Every, everybody loves when you do a little personal touch, personally, I think. So that's what I do. And that's pretty much all I do the day before. I pack everything into the boxes, which I'll show you guys. And then I mark the cups and I get all the syrups done. Okay, I just put them on a plate and I tried it and it's really, really good. Now I'm gonna put the syrup on them, like the little frosting concoction that I have, so. Okay, so that's what they look like when they're done and I'm gonna try one. All right, here we go they're really kind of messy but oh my gosh <laughs> you guys have to make these these are so good morning. morning coffee clan it is the next day and i am getting ready right now to head over to my friend's house because we have a lot of deliveries today and then after i'm done i'm gonna help her pack because she's moving so we have both of our bins so like I said, I bought these bins yesterday from Walmart because it's just, you know, it's easier to transport things. So we have this bin with all my syrups, this bin, this one with my espresso machine and the milks and some extra stuff that I need. And I have my coffee. So we are gonna load up the car and head out. clan it is a couple days later and uh i never really filmed any of the content for you guys that i wanted to film so i'm sorry for that but i have deliveries today so i'm gonna try to film that for you guys um i just woke up it's way too early well it's six but the sun's not up because the time change so it feels like it's five and i'm so tired but anyway um i am about to make a french press for my hubby and i and then I have everything set up for deliveries later today. cooking over there or I'm making a french press so while the water's boiling I'm coming over here because I actually need to get started so four drinks to make right now I have a 20 ounce white chocolate raspberry mocha a 16 ounce iced white chocolate mocha and then two 16 ounce 
ice mudslides, which is a drink that my husband came up with, and I'm not gonna give you guys the recipe, but it has to do with mocha and caramel. So, you know, good drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and make, I'm gonna put the syrups in. It's a little early for me to actually make the whole drink, but what I like to do to get started is put the syrup in. with the first batch of deliveries and this is probably going to be the last um little update for a while because it's really hard for me to film and deliver and make coffee and be on time so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of like the morning rush and uh i'm out I'm, I'm heading right now to drop off all these coffees and then i have one more rush and then i should be done after that i'm on my way right now i have my coffee and the sun rise is so pretty as always but anyways yes i'll check back in with you guys in a bit hey coffee clan it is a little bit while later i'm done with my deliveries and i actually just got done with a workout um I'm exhausted. Uh, my favorite workouts on YouTube lately, my favorite like content creators for workouts has been Pop Sugar. I really like their workouts. I love uh, Chris, Krista DePauli's, uh kickboxing workouts are probably my favorite on there. And then the other channel that I really, really like is, and I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce her last name right, but it is G-I-R-V-A-N. I think it's like Gervin. I wanna say it's Caroline Gervin. But I'll have their channels linked below if you guys are interested. But their workouts are really good and they definitely are, yeah, they're amazing. So I just did a intense hamstrings and core workout. I am dying and I am going to make myself my protein shake and I'll show you guys how I make my protein shakes. It's really easy and it's just like, it's really healthy for you, so. Okay, so first you're gonna put in your ice and then you're gonna put in fresh spinach. Uh, I got this from an organic market and it's just baby spinach. And I've been using this, I really, really like it, but you put in some fresh spinach. I usually, usually just put in like a handful or two and then you're gonna put in a banana and then you're gonna put in some almond milk. Um, I'm using this almond milk vanilla, but I would highly recommend using unsweetened vanilla or just unsweetened almond milk because it will taste just fine and you can get away with not adding as much sugar. Then after you add that, I usually add protein powder. So I'm using this one because I can't have dairy. So this is uh, vanilla and I really, really like this one. I'm just gonna put in one scoop of this and that is it. And after you have all that added, you just go ahead and blend it. It is done blending. Just take a mason jar or your cup and you just pour it in. Take your favorite silicone straw and you have yourself a delicious after workout smoothie. This has been my favorite after workout snack lately, especially because I want something before I jump in the shower to kind of fill me a little bit, but I'm, you know, I don't want to eat a heavy meal. So usually I'll have this and then I'll have guacamole and carrots or I'll have like a chicken salad, kind of however hungry I am in like an hour or two, but this will hold me over for a while and it tastes really good. So cheers. All right guys, so I just uh, got out of the shower and did my hair. Well, didn't do my hair, it's, uh, it's kind of messy, but I just got out of the shower, did my makeup, and I am about to clean my kitchen because it's a mess and after coffee deliveries, it gets really messy. So I always have to clean it. 
and then I'm going to like that is just disgraceful and that is all from deliveries like it's like a whirlwind on Wednesdays and Fridays here because I do deliveries those days but anyways I'm gonna clean my kitchen and then I'm actually going to make uh, those orange zest cinnamon rolls that I made at the beginning of this video uh, it's for tonight because I have Bible study and we're having a breakfast night so I'm making those and then I also made hold on let me show you guys let me show you I made I don't really think anyone's gonna eat this except for me so I didn't make that much but I probably will make another probably make another one but this is chia seed pudding like it's not done yet but like it's basically almond milk, chia seeds, maple syrup, and a little bit of homemade vanilla extract. It looks really good. I'm excited to try it, but I haven't tried it yet. So anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna clean this mess up. All right, guys, kitchen's clean. I just ate my lunch. I had chicken salad, and now I'm going to make these quick orange walnut sweet rolls from the Magnolia Table book. And I mean, like, if you guys have this recipe, you have to make it. It's amazing. So I'm going to watch True Crime. My favorite true crime person to watch right now is Stephanie Harlow, and I love her videos. And so I'm going to watch her, and I'm going to make these, and I'm going to finish my smoothie. Okay guys, I have to end the vlog right here because I feel like it's 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 gone on for a while. Um, and also I need to make blueberry pancakes because I totally forgot that I need to do that for tonight. But I want to show you guys something that I got off Amazon and like it will change your life. Okay, so this is an outlet cover and as you can see, it's unique because it charges a lot obviously. It has a hole right here so you can put the screw in to the outlet so you can literally just take this off and put this there but the coolest thing about it all right so let's plug it in it has a sensor so that you know if it's dark the night light will turn on and then up here can literally like you guys it is so cool <laughs> i can't get over it anyways though um, so on Instagram, if you guys follow me, I actually do a lot of reels and I'm doing the new, this new reel uh, episode thing where every time I get something on Amazon that I purchased because I saw it on Instagram reels, I make an episode about it. So, uh, go follow me on Instagram if you want to see what else I have impulse bought off in, off Amazon because it's going to be a lot more probably. <laughs> But that thing is really cool. I do not regret that. It was kind of expensive. It was like 20 bucks. But like, I, first of all, I'll get a lot of use out of it. Second of all, it's cool. So anyways, guys, that is all for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. And if you guys like me and you like this channel, hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you become part of my coffee clan. And uh, if you like coffee, you belong here. This is your family, okay? So subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. And until then, drink coffee, travel often. I love you. Bye.